Hello and welcome to the Misana YouTube channel where we discuss all things hydronics. In one of our previous videos, we explained how radiant heating and cooling work. We explained that in heating, a radiant surface releases thermal energy to an environment, but in cooling, it actually absorbs thermal energy from an environment. So you cannot really radiate cooling. What's actually going on, it is that radiant surface, that chilled radiant surface is actually absorbing thermal energy from an environment to make you feel cooler, to make your environment cooler. Um, and so we've already discussed this in the past, but radiant cooling has always been a battle between the radiant surface temperature and the dew point temperature. And if that radiant surface temperature falls below the dew point, condensation forms. And so it's all about avoiding that. And so in the past, what people have done is used what's called a fixed water temperature system. So they know that their dew point in their environment, wherever they live, is around 50 to 55 degrees at all times. So then they'd set a constant water temperature of 60 to 65 degrees, which would be a notable distance above that dew point temperature. And so that works. That'll provide some level of cooling. But the distance that you're above the dew point is actually cooling that you're missing out on. And so here at Misano, we have pioneered our variable temperature system where we use our intelligent sensors and controls that monitor that dew point and then our controls can adjust the radiant surface temperature using mixing valves to make sure that the radiant surface really follows the dew point as closely as possible to maximize cooling output. Here at Masana, we've really pioneered radiant cooling. It was our main focus. We were actually known as Masana Radiant Cooling for a while. Now we've continued to expand into other parts of the hydronic industry. So now we are Masana Hydronic Technologies, but we really started as Masana Radiant Cooling. And so our controls were really tailored towards radiant cooling applications. So we can actually activate forms of dehumidification in a space. So we can dehumidify your environment, lower the dew point, and that allows us to actually use cooler water within the radiant ceiling or radiant floor further increasing cooling output. We also have some advanced logic in our controls that also knows that there is a temperature gradient from the radiant panel to the outside of the drywall that is covering the panel. So we can actually supply water to the panels that is cooler than the dew point temperature. So in theory, it would produce condensation, but because we know that the outside of the drywall is actually not gonna reach the dew point, we are safe, we are avoiding condensation while really maximizing cooling output. If you're interested in a Masana system, we have a nice get started tab on our website where you can go ahead and request a free estimate. You can input what you want, whether it be a radiant ceiling or radiant floor, hydronic fan coils. You can also let us know your energy source. You can upload your floor plans, your square footage, and it'll spit out an estimate or put you in contact with some of our hydronics experts. So we can give you some insights as to what your project might entail. Thank you for watching today's video. I hope you learned something. Take care.